today, I have the 10 fastest players in MLB The Show 24. But at the end of this video, I'm only going to be left with one. These players will be competing in numerous challenges where the bottom two players will be eliminated every single round until the finals. And how else would you start this besides a flat-out race? I've split the 10 players into two races of five. The bottom player from each race will be eliminated. And we are off with race number one. And who is going to be getting eliminated? And it's going to be Tyler O'Neill. And from race one, Tyler O'Neill is eliminated. Race number two underway. And this one is neck and neck. And Jose Siri and J-Rod look like they tied. And because Siri and Rodriguez were identical, the tie is going to go to the higher overall player. So J-Rod moves on. So we've tested how fast they can run. But how fast can they hit home runs? I'm giving these eight players one minute to hit as many home runs as they can in a home run derby. The two players at the bottom will be eliminated. So we begin with Evan Carter. Again, you get one minute to hit as many home runs as you can. The bonus time does not count. And if you go to a tiebreaker, that doesn't count either because this isn't head-to-head. -head. This is not Evan Carter versus Ellie De La Cruz. This is the eight players. The six with the most will move on. And Evan Carter finally gets his first one on the board. Can he get a second consecutive one? That one's going to be foul. So Evan Carter has two home runs. He's got about five seconds left. He gets a third. He's going to get one more swing off here. And will that one carry to left center field? It is way gone. So that's four for Evan Carter. Now for maybe the favorite to win this, it's Ellie De La Cruz. So he's got to get some home runs. And Ellie might have smashed his first home run right there. No, it doesn't get out. Ellie needs a little bit more power. They're just going off the wall here. Ellie only has 145 seconds in. He's got about two, maybe three swings if he's lucky. This probably the last one. Needs it to get out, and it will get out, but only two home runs is not good. Now for Jorge Mateo. He's taking a pitch. He's actually smashed one home run already. Just need to get past two to at least clear Ellie De La Cruz here. You get past two. All you have to do is survive one more player, and you're good. And there's two for Mateo. One more. And Ellie's going to be in a bad spot here. Is he going to get it? Mateo. It's no good. In seconds, will the carry center field? It looks no. Last swing for Mateo. Is that going to go? It will go. He's got three. We got Jake McCarthy here of the Diamondbacks. Looks like he's going to get his first one on the board. That is 424. Oh, that is crushed. That is a perfect, perfect. Somehow foul, though. It sounded like a perfect, perfect, and it went foul. That one can't quite get into the bullpen. Getting robbed a little bit. McCarthy might have a second right there. He does. That'll tie Ellie De La Cruz. Will he get three? He will get three. Ellie's all alone with two, and it looks like McCarthy will finish with three. Next up will be Bobby Witt Jr. Now, this is one of the higher overall players in this whole tournament. So Bobby Wood Jr. has the power as well as the speed. So I definitely expect him to clear three home runs and clinch his spot in the next round. And he's two for two already. Can he make it three in a row and send himself to the next round? No good on that one. Will this one be it? Oh, he's got three. That's definitely three. One more and he clinches. Nothing to worry about. And that one is crushed Bobby Witt to the next round. Corbin Carroll, another one of the higher rated players in this tournament. Corbin Cowher going to take his first pitch here. Got to get past at least three. Cowher going to smash one to right field. If he gets past three, he moves on. He's got one in about 20 seconds. He finds some momentum here. Swing and a miss. Kyle's got three. One more automatically moves him to the next round. Is that one going to get pushed to left field? It won't. Cowher can he get one more. That one just gets over the wall, and he's good to go. Right now, Ellie De La Cruz is on the bubble. If J-Rod is to beat two home runs, Ellie automatically will be eliminated. Doesn't matter what happens with Trey Turner. And some tells me Julio Rodriguez is going to beat two home runs. A few moments later. I might have spoke too soon. J-Rod is struggling. Does he even get two? He only hit one home run. And that means Julio Rodriguez is eliminated no matter what happens with Trey Turner here. And Ellie can survive if Trey Turner doesn't hit at least two home runs. But Trey, left center field, smashed that one. One more to tie Ellie. That one looks like it's going to go as well. Doesn't go. Can Ellie really survive with one home run? With, with two home runs. There's two for Trey. I got to give him another 30 seconds. He wound up beating Julio Rodriguez, but he still has 30 seconds to beat Ellie here, so I got to bring him back. Okay, Trey, you get 30 seconds here. 30 seconds to hit as many as you can. 
Once that clock hits 30 seconds, or if he hits a home run here, that will eliminate Ellie De La Cruz, and we are done. So we've tested them in a race. We've tested them in power. Now we're going to see how many bases they can steal in a full regular season. So I will simulate a full season, and the four players that steal the most bases will move on to the semifinals. The number one steals leader for this video was Corbin Carroll, who stole 49 bags this year. Quickly, we head to the American League, where it was Bobby Wood Jr. who stole 32 bases. Back to the National League, though, for Trey Turner, who stole 29 bases. And the final player headed to the semifinals was Jorge Mateo, who stole 25 bases. As for Evan Carter, not terrible. He stole 15 bags. As for Jake McCarthy, he stole 16 bases. And the semifinals for these four players will be get on base. And what that means, all four players will be stepping up to the plate. The two that get on base the fastest will move on to the final. All of these guys are going to be facing the same exact pitcher. They're all facing Nathan Eovaldi. Aldi and Trey Turner will get us started up first. Now, if Trey Turner was to get a double, the other players would have to beat a double. Do have a better score than Trey Turner. Same thing if he gets a single or a walk. If you do better than that, you'd have a better score. And right now, Trey Turner's in a no two count, so he might not get on base at all against Yovaldi. See, will he strike out? Trey Turner strikes out swinging. We shift to the desert now as we have Corbin Carroll for the Arizona Diamondbacks, and let's see what Carroll can do. Will he get on base? All he has to do is get on base to pass Turner's score. A walk, a single, does not matter. All you got to do is that. And then hopefully the other two players in Jorge Mateo and Bobby Witt don't beat your score and you're good to go to the finals. Let's see. Carroll, that's a strike, but he took it as a ball. Corbin Carroll in danger of striking out as well. That would set this up perfectly for Jorge Mateo and Bobby Witt Jr. And down goes Carroll. So now we got Jorge Mateo, who all he has to do is get on base. It doesn't matter how. A walk, a single, and he automatically moves on with Trey and Carroll getting out. And that'll be the same for Bobby Witt Jr. Can they capitalize? Jorge Mateo in an 0-2 count. Is Eovaldi going to strike out everybody on their first attempt? We will have to see. 0-2 count, though, for Mateo. And here's the pitch, and he's gonna foul that one off. Maybe he puts that ball on the ground, use that speed. Come on, Mateo, we got 99 speed, swing and a miss, and he strikes out too. But we got ourselves a 3-0 count. This is not gonna be the prettiest way to advance for Bobby Wood Jr. But he doesn't care. He works the walk on four pitches, and he's headed to the finals. Here comes the payoff pitch. Trey Turner, will he get on base? Trey will take ball four, so if Mateo or Carroll get a hit, Turner's out automatically. The umpires might need some glasses back there because they have made some bad calls. Corbin Carroll, though, with the speed. No way Seeger's making that play on Carroll. That is a base hit. Trey Turner's eliminated. Now Mateo can match. Let's see a 2-1 count. 3-1 count. Mateo, you got to swing the bat here. 3-1 count. You cannot walk. You need to swing the bat. And swing he will. And Julio Rodriguez can't make the play. We're really tied up. And now that Corbin Carroll and Jorge Mateo have tied, they are the two left here. We have Bobby Wood Jr. advancing. Trey Turner's eliminated. Mateo, though, drops one in for a base hit again. Now Corbin Carroll needs to match that or do better. Big spot for Corbin Carroll right here. Can he match Jorge Mateo with a base hit? Can he exceed those expectations with a double, extra base hit, home run, triple, whatever? Come on, Corbin Carroll. Let's see it. 1-1 one, one count against Eovaldi. They're finally starting to figure out how to hit him here. And Seeger. That's off the bag. If it counts as an error, though, Mateo moves on. It's an error. Mateo is cleared to the finals. And the finals is Jorge Mateo versus Bobby Witt Jr. And they will be competing in an inside the park home run challenge. Whoever hits it faster will win. Okay, we are in practice mode. I got the stopwatch here. I need to use Jorge Mateo and Bobby Witt Jr. for them to hit these inside the park home runs. We will start the timer now. And we are going to try our best to make it as fair as possible. This is the best way to do it. The CPU would never hit it against the CPU. So we're going to have to try our best to hit it as fair as possible with Mateo and Bobby Wood Jr. Both facing Yovaldi. Both on beginner difficulty just to put it in the gaps. And Mateo, this is a great chance. This is a great chance. They just laid out for that baseball. Did not get it. Mateo rounding third. He might have it. He might have it. 30 seconds in. Jorge Mateo. 32 seconds Bobby Wood Jr. is going to have to try to beat that time and win this thing. That was absolutely insane. By Jorge Mateo. 32 seconds. Bobby Wood Jr. That's not going to work. We're going to reset the play unless there's a chance at it. Come on. What do you have? Like two or three more pitches to even do it with how slow they take? Honestly, that might be it though. 
This is the best chance. This is going to be suspenseful. It is rolling all the way to the corner. Bobby Wood Jr. might beat the time. He's got 10 seconds to round third pace. He did it. Bobby Wood Jr. with six seconds to spare has claimed the title as the fastest player in MLB The Show 24. That's going to do it for the video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. And make sure to go check out my other channels that are in the description down below. And I'll talk to you all in the next one. Peace.